Hi, I'm Barry Schreier from Liberty Electric Cars. We are one of Europe's leading electric vehicle businesses and we are involved in electric car design, uh, electric vehicle engineering services, and we also are a retailer of electric vehicles uh, as well as providing after sales electric vehicle servicing and driver training. So I'm very pleased to have Torben Anderson with me from Better Place. And I just wanted to ask you, Torben, a couple of general questions about the industry and a little bit more about Better Place, please. So uh, to begin with, if you could explain to us, um, where is the electric vehicle industry uh, gone to? Where are we right now? How, how far have we gotten? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's indeed very exciting times right now. Hmm. Uh, you could say that um, we have in the last 12 months seen the, uh, the first real mass production cars come into market. Mm -hmm. In Denmark, we, uh, we've seen the shipments of electric vehicles go from basically zero to, uh, to hundreds every, mo every month now. Excellent. Um, mm. and, and it's not it's no longer uh, uh, projects or, mm -hmm. or tests or trials or something mm -hmm. like that. It's actually mass produced cars mm -hmm. that are being sold to real consumers right. and, and, and real mm. businesses. Mm -hmm. So from that point of view, it's, it's, uh, it's indeed exciting times now. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that. Mm. What are your experiences? Why are people looking for electric cars yeah mm. well I think it's um, if we look at the consumers mm -hmm. the majority of them are really uh, the, the typical first mover the people okay. who are keen on taking on new technology mm. and and uh, some of them would be people with a, a more green uh, uh, approach to it so they, they, mm -hmm. they want to save the environment they want to help us uh, uh, drive a better world in that respect yes but but oftentimes it's just people who are excited about new technology and, okay. and, a, and a traditional first movers mm -hmm. if we look to the businesses mm -hmm. um, I think that it's it's uh, it's much more the idea of actually getting um, trying this new technology out in the fleets okay. uh, obviously most of them are just taking a few cars to try it out and, yes. and see how it actually works mm -hmm. the good news is that they're quite excited about it when mm -hmm. they get a chance to test it out mm -hmm. um, and and you know to see the industry actually growing along with them uh, right the network building out and and uh, infrastructure being available yes uh, that's so, nice. so that's that's quite keen mm -hmm. but also when we look at the uh, the first movers among the consumers mm. um, it's a lot of the people are really people that are going for the great driving experience. Oh, I mean, okay. mm -hmm. you, you, if you look at, a, at an electric vehicle today, mm -hmm. it's it's a, it's a massively better drive than a, a similar priced gasoline car. Right? Yes. So from that point of view, you actually get a smooth, mm -hmm. uh, silent, um, fast acceleration mm -hmm. uh, type drive, which is just mm -hmm. excellent for the consumers. Excellent. I'm pleased to hear that. Yeah. Very good news. Uh, have you found that there is any requirement, for example, for uh, people driving uh, electric vehicles to learn different driving habits or, or this type of thing? Yeah, I, I think that, um, well, first of all, I, I, I think it's very right. You have to do it. I, I think it's a bit unfortunate mm -hmm. because uh, it, it is kind of sad that we have to educate people again to drive an electric vehicle. It should right. be a straightforward shift. But mm -hmm. what we have seen is that Obviously, range anxiety is still an issue with electric vehicles. Right. And uh, and since your driving behavior mm -hmm. affects your your range, regardless of whether you're driving an electric vehicle or a gasoline vehicle. Yes. Uh, it is important to think of. Mm -hmm. However, when, a, when a, a typical EV will drive, you know, a uh, hundred miles uh, on a on a full charge, mm -hmm. and a typical gasoline car will drive. Um, uh, you know, 500 miles on a typical tank full, yes. then you think a lot more about your range limitations. Yes, exactly. And then all of a certain, you know, your bad driving behavior, of mm -hmm. fast acceleration and, 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 and these things mm -hmm. become so much more uh, relevant for you to look at. Mm -hmm. And hence, therefore, consumers have actually said, well, help us understand what it is we should do in order to actually drive longer in, in electric vehicles. Oh, okay. And driver training has become something that people have started to adopt in Denmark as well. And mm -hmm. I know uh, for instance, Renault uh, have been telling customers that they can actually offer different sorts of driver training to help them uh, improve their range by driving in a, in a more e EV efficient way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's interesting news. Yeah. So what we wanted to find out about is, uh, is Better Place involved in that? Is, uh, is the servicing of EVs um, a, a new growing area for this industry? Right. Well, Better Place is, is what we call an EV operator as well. So okay. in that perspective, we, um, we offer service to, cust to customers mm -hmm. starting from basically um, uh, putting up a personal charge spot for them, right. either in their home or at the, at the, the, the workplace. If mm -hmm. it's a company car uh, or a, a pool car that's only in a company, that is possible where we put up the charge spot. Right. We, uh, we uh, offer to own the battery for the consumer so that mm -hmm. they don't have the risk and the cost of actually buying a battery and, and owning and maintaining it. So we can mm -hmm. we take care of that and include it in our service fee for the customer. Mm -hmm. 
We also provide range extension through the means of, of battery swapping, so that if you have a car that can actually do battery swapping, like mm -hmm. the Renault Fluence, mm -hmm. you can drive into one of our switch stations, have your battery taken out and a new battery put in, and five okay. minutes later you continue your journey, right. um, similar to going into a gasoline tank. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we, we, uh, we provide customer care, we provide the, uh, the services around that with a managed network where we can check that you're actually being charged the networks, uh, sorry, the charging stations, etc. are working. Right. And we put all out of that in a, in a, in a nice package mm -hmm. with, a, with a fixed price on it based on how many miles you drive. Okay. And hence making it actually simple to own and operate an extra vehicle. Right. Very good. Yeah. All right. And so uh, one final question, please. Uh, here we are uh, at the dawn of a, of a new era uh, in the vehicle industry. Um, what do you see as the future for electric cars? Well, I think that, that uh, uh, we, we, what we're seeing now is actually the very first steps, as you say, in a, right. in a big transformation. Mm. Um, I think we can all have our guess on when it will happen, this big transformation. I don't sure. think anyone is questioning anymore whether it will happen. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of when it will happen. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, I, I, I think my daughter is, is 14 now. She will probably still uh, see some of her friends at least learn how to drive in a gasoline vehicle. Oh, okay. But, um, like going to the museum. Uh, well, yeah. Well, yeah, of course, there will still be gasoline vehicles out there, but I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure that when my daughter has her first child or mm -hmm. her first child will start to, to drive a car, she will never understand that we've been using gasoline and oil to, to run our vehicles. They will be electric, all of them. I so understand, yes. It will certainly be a, a cert, uh, an exciting 30 years ahead of mm. us, mm. and we will realize that the oil is way too precious to just burn it. Yes, exactly. That's a very good point. So uh, thank you once again. Uh, again, I'm Barry Schreier from Liberty Electric Cars. I've been joined by Torben Anderson from Better Place. Uh, good to see you, and thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot.